last episode on Fear Method. We are getting ready for the boys' Division Three championship game. The team that's playing you is not coming out to lose. The best player from the other team went up, but Mikey just kept going. And There's about three seconds left in the second quarter. Coronado inbound the ball. Ball poked away. We got the steal. Dixon, did he get it off in time? Yes, he did. It was a 30 to 21 going into halftime. We just knew we needed to stop one guy from getting to the basket. When Wayne has the ball here, we've got to make sure that if one of you come up. Hey, he's going to frustrate. He's going to try to get his now. We'll trap him hard. Hey, we one half away. We one half away. 16 minutes from me and City Chance. We just got to finish strong. Three, two, one, five, six. Hey, 16 Water, minutes. Second half, I know I just need to be ready to hoop. We got some stops for some turnovers. James started doing his thing. Double team away. He just kept spinning and it's a basket. Then the shooter started to go off. This is all the things we talked about in practice. So it's too late to start playing smart. And that is going to be a charge yeah. going against Williams. You have two ball, 130. Three on Mike. You have three on Mike. Jerry. Kayla, 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 Kayla. Every play counts, especially in an environment like that. Come on, we can't lose this. We're falling apart. I got to make a play. On the inbound pass, it's on high for the ball. Williams is hurt. I feel hard, like really hard. Williams went up for the steal, but just came down on that right foot. I got a cramp. I can't get out. I couldn't move my leg. My calf was cramping and my foot was like stuck. Like I was trying like super hard. And when I finally did, I just had to hop off the court. This is a crucial time of the game, and we need him out there. Even though I was cramping, they still couldn't wait on me. I had no idea how the game was going. Oh, come on. Come on, Rap. Are you serious? That's going to be free Five. throws. They gave that to Dixon. And it's going to be, I believe, four. I think it's four. And Coach Tucker is screaming at him. I thought they was going to dress the lead out to where we couldn't come back. Wayne McKinney, 20 points for Coronado. I don't know how I'm going to go back in the game. I think I'm done. When you have an injury, your other muscles start overcompensating yeah, for true. certain things. Coronado will have an opportunity. I thought the season was over. I thought there was no coming back. Without Mikey, there's nothing, pretty much. All the hype is coming around Mikey, but once he's gone, there's not gonna be no crowd, nothing. I know I couldn't sit out. It didn't really matter how much I was hurting. I know my team needed me out there. Oh, Mikey, Mikey, 
My lateral movement wasn't the best. I felt it in my shot. I felt it when I was driving. It just didn't feel right. I couldn't move how I wanted to. I just had to get back on the bench and try to stretch it out. Everybody was trying to help me out. The trainers, even some random lady. With all my players, I know the tactics of work when they have cramps and stuff like that. I don't necessarily know Mikey, but he's from the South Bay, he's from my home. So how much I care of him, you know, so he could do his job. She saw how much people are willing to help out. And they want to see us win. Jerry was started getting doubled, so I had to go back out there because they couldn't leave me open because I could still knock down a shot or two. They couldn't double Jerry no more when I was out there, so he just went back to work. Yo, we up 11, we got one minute left. We got Mikey Herbert, you know Jerry about to take us home. Zane's tough. Oh, you need people like that in your team. You never hit on my guy. Thank you, baby. It was shouting out MVP chance for Jane. I was love. He deserved it. It was about five seconds left. Galen got a steal and a rest. It's history. Rain's going to flush it home as an exclamation mark, and that will do it. San Ysidro is your T3 champion. Congratulations to the Cougars of San Ysidro, their first section title. I made the decision to stay home because the city means a lot to me. They never had the best hoop program. I think that's a minute to get it going and get people to our games. With a lot of grind that we put Santa Caesar on the map. Everybody's still on the court. Coach teared up. You wish you can relive the moment. All the hard work, literally. It's just like, bro, we did it. We couldn't have did it without each other. Hey, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Y'all want one more? We got four more. First round of state playoffs is next. We're trying to win a state championship. We're finna turn up and celebrate, and then it's back to business. Yeah, water boy! The banner. Just won the chip. As a freshman, you know, feeling's definitely crazy. You know, and I couldn't have did it without my guys and all the support around me. Next episode on Fear Nothing. Why are we struggling? No cramps tonight, baby. Woo! He was like pulling from deep. I knew he was trying to get hot. Once the first shot goes, when you got that killer instinct like he has, it's only a matter of time before you start getting hot. Once you get hot, everybody just has to say their prayers. Dime, 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 dime. You better stay wavy at the wave jersey, all right? Go click the link in the bio ASAP. Check out the videos right here and subscribe. That's rápido.